Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to set up AdBuilder. AdBuilder allows advertisers, typically families and local businesses, to create and submit ads for the yearbook. Selling ads is a great fundraising tool for schools and a good way to increase student coverage in the yearbook. First, let's pull up the Setup Pricing page. From the dashboard, we'll hover over Sales Tracker and select Setup Pricing from the dropdown. Then, we'll scroll down to the section called Setup Ads. Here is a little overview of our current ad settings. We have an ad already created and available for purchase on YB Pay. But as you can see here on the right, we don't have Ad Builder activated yet. Let's set it up together. We'll start by clicking Edit Ads. So here we have the settings for our ads. On the right, we had the option to enable Ad Builder. Let's go ahead and activate it by selecting the checkbox. Now that Ad Builder has been activated, let's review our ad settings by starting at the top of the page and working our way down. Over on the left, we can set our purchase by date. This is the last day families and businesses can purchase an ad on YB Pay. And the 31st looks good. Next, we have our submission date meaning that all ads submitted through Ad Builder must be submitted and approved by the yearbook advisor by this date. For this yearbook, the final page deadline is April 11th, so I think I'll set the submission date a little earlier. I'll click on the calendar and select Monday the 4th. Now let's take a look at our ads. To help you set prices, contact your LifeTouch yearbook rep. The first ad listed here is for a half-page color ad. When we enabled Ad Builder, there were four templates that appeared. These are the templates that advertisers can use to create ads for the yearbook. By default, all four templates are included, but I could deselect any templates I don't want included in our yearbook. It's a good idea to always leave the image-only ad option included. This allows advertisers to upload a custom design and is a great option for businesses who already have an ad design they want to use. Now, we'll just save our work by clicking Save. And that's how to set up Ad Builder. For more info on creating and working with ads, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!